Sometimes with age comes wisdom, but not all the time. I just watched a video of older men who were rappers, Wack 100 and Gully. And they're 40 plus still arguing who's a real N-I-G-G-A. Pathetic. Sad. And super lame. I literally can care less what somebody else think about me. I get messages all the time. I get call comments all the time. Oh, you're this, you're that. So what? I could care less if somebody thinks I'm a real N-I-G-G-A. I got a daughter to take care of. There's a meme out there saying you're a real stupid. You're a real stupid N-I-G-G-A trying to prove to another stupid N-I-G-G-A that you're a real N-I-G-G-A. There was a cat that got out of jail, man, and he came out with all this slick talk, this, that, and the third. And everybody was like, wow, and worshipped him. Guess where he's at? Jail. His family suffering. They're in jail with him. My point is to point out to the youngsters. You know, that's why it takes a village to raise a child. And, you know, that's why I'm a big fan of good men in the community, good fathers in the community, to grab these shorties. Look here, youngster. They, you know what I'm saying? They were really trying to say, okay, yeah, who's a real N-I-G-G-A that's rapping? And the ones they qualify as a real N-I-G-G-A are the ones killing somebody or the ones who was killing somebody. And that's what qualifies as a real N-I-G-G-A. That's a real stupid N-I-G-G-A. Understand it. You are a real stupid N-I-G-G-A to still be trying to prove to other people that you are real. That's silly. I mean, honestly, when are we going to grow up? When is our community going to grow up? I'm grown. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm all about family, and that's it. If you ain't about upliftment of family and upliftment and positivity, miss me with all that. The fact that I just wasted five minutes of my life and lost all kind of brain cells watching this stupid video about them arguing who's the real N-I-G-G-A, I, I can't get that five minutes back. I'm a little upset about that, honestly. Youngsters. Man, you know, my father had to sit me down. I honestly thought these rappers was actually really murdering people in the 90s. They were, he had to say, uh, Scarface and W.A., they just actors. They just studio gangsters. They go in the studio, they talk about it. They go to the Hollywood Hills homes and they go to bed and they live a good life. Nowadays, granted, it is a little different. They may be. But murdering somebody don't make you a real N.I.G.G.A. Show me that you can take care of your children. Show me that you can uplift your community and better your community from this mess that we in. That's a real N-I-G-G in my book. Show me that. Show me you can take care of your children and your family and leave them wealth. Show me that. That's a real N-I-G-G in my book. Impress me that way. You can't impress me by rapping about murdering people. I'm not impressed. You can't even, even showing me murdering somebody. I'm still... Not impressed. I used to honestly think that, yo, people respect me if I get out here in these streets and I handle this business. You're not respected. Because as soon as you go to jail, nobody is putting money in your books except for your parents and your family. If that, none of these are going to answer your phone call. I get phone calls every day to my phone from jail. Nobody is willing to put money on their books. Um... Nobody. You, you you don't get no street credit. You don't get nothing but jail. And you'll sit there for years of your life wishing, dang, I wish I could get that back. No women are going to look at you. Wow, he's a real in that GGA. Wow. And nobody's going to look at you and worship you. I'm like, wow. They're going to smoke a blunt and you're going to be forgotten within minutes of your incarceration or your burial. One blunt, just like Jada Kiss said, you may be missed until two or three hours until they like that spliff. And there you go. That's your legacy. That's your memory. You don't get a movie. You don't get like Big Meech. You don't get a, a, a book written on any legacy passed down. No, just forgotten. Anyway, shout out to everybody sending me stories. Peace, y'all.